This is the pathophysiology of amniotic fluid embolism. It begins with the entry of amniotic fluid into the maternal pulmonary vasculature, which results in immune response activation of pro-inflammatory mediators, which can lead to cardiogenic shock and consumptive coagulopathy. There's a biphasic cardiogenic shock where phase one is pulmonary hypertension and right heart failure, and phase two is then left heart failure with pulmonary edema. This leads to cardiovascular catastrophic consequences like hypotension, cardiac arrest, PEA, asystole, and V-fib. In the lungs, you have a severe VQ mismatch that leads to a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, which can lead to capillary leak syndrome and catastrophic pulmonary symptoms like dyspnea, DSATs, cyanosis, and ARDS. The hypoxia can lead to neurologic sequela with altered mental status, hypoxic encephalopathy, and seizures, and activation of the coagulation cascade, like tissue factor, can lead to hematologic consequences like hemorrhage, coagulopathy, and DIC.